Hello there, how are you? I hope all is well and everything is fine on your end. Welcome back on my channel. You're listening to Light Channelings once again and today I'm back with new channeling for all the twin flames and soulmates out there, the fated ones, the ones that are meant to be. Before starting with today's channeling, I'd first like to express my heartfelt gratitude heartfelt gratitude and i'd like to say and give a big big thank you to all of those people who are supporting my channel through way of their generous donations who are showering me with their unconditional love support and are showing me how much they appreciate me and the work we are doing here all together i love reading your thank you notes every single day i love seeing um how important i've become in your life and my messages my guidance and my readings i feel blessed to be a part of your life and i feel like it's all destiny that's playing itself out i wish all the best for you and for your future and i wish all of your uh, wishes come true for your highest good and may you receive your reunion as soon as possible with the blessings and grace of god that's what i want that's what i pray just know that all of you are in my prayers and i wish that soon everything is going to work out on your end that's what i wanted to say that's what i feel deep down in my heart again thank you so so much for your generosity it's actually completely invaluable to express in words how it makes me feel every single day when i wake up and see your thank you notes and the notifications i receive yeah that's all i wanted to say now we will jump right back to what the channeling here is the very first thing that universe wanted me to convey to you was that even if you've become completely completely hopeless about your situation with your twin there's still hope they are saying for those who are meant to come back together in each other's life you may have found yourself thinking that now there is no way out of the mess you're in there is no looking back you can never find the same exact trust in your heart again or you'll never be able to build that trust that was broken by your counterpart when they mistreated you lied on you cheated you betrayed you abused you insulted you humiliated you abandoned you or anything they did which actually destroyed the connection in between two of you and brought the separation in between you in between both of you you feel like even though you are somewhere stuck on this person you may never get that blessing or a chance to reunite or get married with your counterpart that's what you may be thinking or feeling somewhere and that's exactly uh, what your counterpart is picking up as well i see great sadness spread all over in the energy within the collective sorrow and regret your person is uh, your counterpart actually not your person we shouldn't be talking like that i have made it a habit to say your person and this and that your counterpart your twin or your soulmate is in an energy where uh, they are also focused on what's lost or what's not working or what's problematic or what's distracting or what 
is standing there as a challenge or obstacle right now in their way it's not like they do not wish to come back in your life or they do not wish to communicate or reunite with you it's all about where the attention lies where the energy is flowing where the focus is on both of your ends it's not on the positive but instead it's on the negatives but above all what universe wants to tell you is that even though you've lost all your hopes and you feel like there is no way out it's never going to work out they may never come out of their own problems you may never receive justice because it has taken so long and you've uh, kept on hearing the same old things again and again that universe is manifesting this reunion for you third parties are moving away or are getting eliminated from your persons from your, from your counterparts life or um, you are receiving justice behind the scenes behind the veil and things like that you've continued to hear such things non stop again and again throughout these years but what you haven't experienced or witnessed is some sort of action being taken from your counterpart and that's what's making you lose the left out hope faith and trust that you were holding on to now even that's going and that's what's um fading away bit by bit slowly and eventually that's what you feel but what you do not understand is that on one hand you feel like you're losing the hope on the other hand you're coming into detachment now that's why i said both of you are looking at the negative side of the situation because looking on the positive side now feels exhausting and you've lost the faith and trust that's the reason that's why you're not able to look at the positive side of the situation because it has become difficult to hold on to that hope because you do not see any results and at the same time fear creeps in of uh, losing out on the best opportunities that life may present you with somewhere you're feeling that it has taken so long and you've wasted so much of time wasted so many valuable precious years of your life where uh, you could have um, got engaged with someone else someone more suitable someone more respectful more loving more um, appreciative of you your talents your abilities someone who could have actually uh, shown you real care or consideration but instead here you're waiting for someone who doesn't even care to give you a call or ask you how you're doing all they care about is being in their ego or stuck in their head all the time that's what you're thinking and feeling but but universe is still saying the marriage is there on the horizon twins are moving closer towards their marriage or th that can actually means that you're already i'm sorry let me reframe it back again there are two meanings of this sign that universe is showing it was about that if it's written in your destiny if universe wants you to get married get married with your twin no matter how many obstacles come in your way no matter who stands there as an obstacle or a challenge or who uh, tries to block this connection if it's written it will happen when it's meant to be in divine right timing but that's where the problem comes because universe doesn't care about days years weeks hours or minutes we care you do care about that and the society as well and that's when judgment comes it's coming from your family it's coming from your relatives it's coming from your friends it's coming from your foes that's triggering you the most it's coming from everyone you live around or with that's what's driving you crazy or i'd say that's what's bringing fear within you because you fear getting mocked at laughed at ridiculed at not at ridiculed at you fear getting judged by people you fear feeling like a failure what if it never works out what if you end up being a old lonely woman
nobody cares about what would happen then where will you go who will you ask for help so these are the kind of things that are going on with the feminine energy she is fearful but it's not just about fear it's all about the unresolved trauma the pain and the heartache that she has held on to that's coming up on surface again and again and again for her to heal and deal with you might have thought that you've done enough of work and you've found uh, appropriate forgiveness for all of those people who've hurt you including your twin or your counterpart but you are not there yet and i mean to say that yes you found forgiveness but you haven't found real complete forgiveness for all of these people that's why things keep coming up back again and again that's why you keep getting triggered again and again and again because there's still pain there's still feeling of loss that's left behind the scars are still there i shouldn't be saying scars because scars don't feel scars scars don't give you pain yes they remind you of what happened but they don't give you pain but if you are in pain and not and not just only getting reminded of what happened with you the wound is still fresh or it still needs healing that's what it means that means again more work is needed and that is what exactly and again i'd say is making it even more problematic for the feminines to deal with the situation because now they're exhausted they're exhausted with everything that's going on in their life they're exhausted by doing their inner work they're exhausted they're exhausted by facing the challenges and the obstacles they're presented with on the daily basis they're exhausted by living the same old life since so many years they're exhausted by having to deal with so much hate and negativity coming from all around her she's exhausted and she's losing hope still universe is saying not all hope is lost yes it is difficult it is becoming even more difficult and yes universe knows that you're feeling like it may never work out i'm seeing a number 10 at the same time i'm seeing number 1000 so that's what i was talking about not all hope is left there is a new beginning waiting for you on the horizon but you cannot see that right now it's not visible to you all you can see or all you're seeing or focusing at is the darkness you're in and this uh, this this thought is coming up in my mind where they say it's always darkest before the dawn that's where you're at i hope that makes some sense to you now that makes some sense to you now or that could may have hit you as an answer to your question or qu- query that what it means these troubles these problems these obstacles are going to fade away but it's because you're not here for a um, for a ridiculous reason but for a purpose an important one that's why your life is so difficult that's why you have 10000 things to deal with all at the same time that's why you've got more problems more suffering much more heartache to deal with and heal with all at the same time with that being said i also saw this thing where um if you have deep rooted pain and trauma relating with your father or someone uh, who had been a fatherly figure in your life you're receiving very deep profound and immense healing at this point of time to get rid of that trauma or come out of that pain it has become really a uh, difficult for the feminine one to deal with the father wound because the reason why she keeps on attracting ridiculous kind of men in her life is because she wasn't met or wasn't blessed with a really caring loving appreciative 
father instead she was met or was born to a father who was abusive emotionally psychologically mentally to some extent verbally sexually that could have happened with a lot of you out there and that has left really deep wounds in her heart she is not able to trust any man because she wasn't able to trust her own father she never felt safe or secure whenever she was around him instead she was filled with fear and terror whenever he uh, used to come around because all she has ever um, got from her okay this is becoming extremely emotional right now all she has ever gotten from him was dominance hate cruelty to some extent gaslighting guilt tripping slut shaming this is very deep please listen to me this is very deep the women the daughters who have been slut shamed by their fathers you cannot understand ever what they go through or um what exactly they are dealing with because uh, it's it becomes so heavy on that person to let go of that trauma trauma because it's not a random person who has said, said such such sort of things it's her own father and because she can see that there are other women other daughters who've been blessed by really loving caring a uh, fathers who treat their daughters like princesses and when she um looks at her own self and when she recalls the relationship she had with her father it traumatizes her it fills her heart with pain and agony and depression all at the same time that's why uh, such women have a terrible time trusting people especially men she keeps on attracting abusive men because the relationship she had with her father was not loving at all she never felt safe and secure that's the reason so that's where the healing is coming you do not have to worry about how long it's going to take because the deeper the wound is a uh, not wound wound is the longer it's going to take for you to come out of that trauma the depression and that heartache it's really very deep i cannot express in words what the person has to go through when um, they're supposed to be coming out of it coming out of it or when they try to work to heal that wound it's not easy at all living with an abusive father is not easy having to deal with him every single day is not easy people say uh, that the real curse is to get married to a ridiculous man i would say it's equal being born to a ridiculous father it's equal it is it's not there is no less cruelty less abuse or less toxicity being a daughter to a abusive father than being married to a abusive husband you cannot compare what they go through i am talking about the damage that's being done on the spiritual emotional and psychological health of a person and someone is met with physical violence you can see the scars the wounds and the dots on their skin but the damage and the hit the person gets on their mental health on their overall self image their confidence their ability to trust people it's indecisible you can't see that it's intangible you can't touch it can't feel it can't even talk about it 
that's what it is so this is where um, universe wanted me to convey that universe knows exactly what you're going through and you will come out of it sooner or later it's getting emotional that's why <clears throat> you will come out of it be confident be courageous you will come out of it and again not all hope is left now i'll talk about what's going on on your counterparts and and how they are thinking and feeling about you you may have uh, found yourself fearing that they may go and choose someone else because you're already losing hope and it has taken so long they may go and marry someone else they may just listen to their mother or father or sister or sibling or if their friends are the problem they may keep interfering or um, and your person may not come out of that situation you may have found yourself fearing or thinking such sort of things but what universe is saying is that you will receive a peaceful resolution to all of your problems whatever obstacle is there be it coming from their friends toxic ones be it coming from their parents toxic ones be it coming from their siblings workmates associations whatever whoever again the toxic ones the justice and the judgment is going to be coming in your favor and you will receive a peaceful resolution to all just know that everything is going according to according to the divine plan in your life even though you do not understand what's happening and why it's happening it's still happening for a reason and that's where the learning comes as i said you're not here for a ridiculous reason but for an important one for an important pers- purpose of course for an important person as well and also to become an important person for other people in your life uh whose lives you're going to touch through way of your spiritual work or just by being yourself you're here for a very important person again purpose that's what you need to focus upon listen to me very carefully this is not just about one year one month one week or one decade again because you are here for a very important purpose to fulfill and a mission to carry on which ultimately means spreading love at lo- love and light within and all around your world or your environment environment do not expect things to come easy or in other words make peace with welcoming challenges obstacles and problems and hateful individuals because you will naturally attract all of these things reason again because you're here for a purpose to eliminate darkness and bring in the light and there are entities energies and people who wouldn't like that and they will come against you stand there as an opposition to face you and you will have to learn how to deal with these people this journey is not just about doing a little bit of inner work here and there and then wishing for reunion no it's not just about that it's about learning your lessons it's about becoming empowered it's about teaching people by being a positive example that's why things don't come easy to you and you feel alone at times that's the reason why it's happening because you're not the one who was born to follow the crowd you are the one who was born to pave a different path and walk on it and when other people are going to see that you are a trail blazer and you're walking all alone building empire or 
just creating history out of nowhere with no help, no support, no friends, nothing at all. Some of them are going to hate you for doing that and some of them, I would say most of them who are looking for light but are unaware that they are um, mindlessly following the crowd, when they'll look at you, they'll start following your footsteps. So even though you feel like you're alone, you're leading, healing and inspiring hundreds and thousands of people who are looking at you. And you may not even be aware, aware about that. You may not even be aware of that fact yet. I'll repeat, not all hope is left. Twins that are meant to come back together will reunite at all costs, no matter how long it takes. If it's taking long, there is a reason. Why? Because it's simply not the right time yet. On top of that, you may have been experiencing some health issues. That's also one of the reasons why it's not happening right now because you cannot go into a marriage or a reunion with having some serious health problems or if not serious health problems there are certain health problems a woman has to go through like problem of hyperpigmentation around her intimate area or private parts losing hair which actually ends up hitting on her self-confidence and self-esteem it's not these uh, nobody talks about these things openly okay or they are not talked about relating with this context everyone is happy getting married having a relationship being committed and all but what happens next how many of you know that getting mocked at or just at or felt embarrassed about your body or how you look but the same exact person you're committed to or being married to how it feels have you ever, uh, I'm sorry, have you ever heard someone expressing that in front of you? Has it ever happened? You are already in a very sensitive state right now. And you universe wouldn't want to bring in even more trauma for you to deal with. That's why I'm talking about that thing. You're already struggling with regaining your confidence back and with these health issues that no one usually actually talks about because they think it's it's some petty thing and not important it is important you're having dandruff in your hair it feels like a snowfall when you run your fingers in your hair snowfall of dandruff that's embarrassing for a, lot, for a lot of them but what people don't understand is that nobody likes to invite these things these problems in their life and you here on the other hand just get such things out of nowhere despite being cautious all the time having dry skin all over no matter how much lotion you use getting breakouts again and again no matter how expensive skin skincare products you're using 
bad odor no matter what you do how many times you take bath or what kind of deodorant you're using these are sensitive issues i'm talking about right now your reproductive health the belly pouch the stretch marks the back knee the dark thighs you know these are small things but being in this connection these are very big triggers if one's made to feel embarrassed about having these issues that's why you're being protected this might feel like nonsense to you irrelevant but it's not it's not that irrelevant it's important if you really look deep down into it if you take time out to look deep down into it it's really very important okay so this was something these were the few messages i'm seeing 286 right now this message has been popping up a lot during readings or channelings this can be significant significant for someone out there so if you've been seeing this number this whole message may be for you okay <clears throat> so these were a few messages that universe wanted me to convey to you other than that if we talk about how your person is actually thinking and feeling they are sad depressed they are missing you they want to come back but then right now they are also uh, having a lot to deal with on their plate their friends might be causing real trouble for them like interfering in their personal life by making a joke out of it they do not care if it's hurting them because your person is having a fake smile put on their face to show off that they are not being bothered or it's not affecting them but it is and it's ultimately keeping them held back from taking action towards you because they fear getting judged again they fear getting mocked at for how people will uh, look at them or what they'll say okay so this might really trigger some of you out there because you may start saying like oh they are still there only they are still stuck with focusing or caring about the opinions of others it's not like they are stuck there it's about dealing the same thing again and again and not being able to learn the lesson properly the reason they are having to deal with this thing is that they haven't found the courage to actually give these people a straightforward answer in a blunt fashion what i mean by that is that somewhere they have to either get rid of these people completely or find the confidence to teach these people a lesson that they cannot just talk about someone like this so mindlessly someone they don't even know properly that's the thing they try to keep a balance with everyone and in all their relationships because uh, at this point of time they need support they need understanding they need love and compassion so when you're not there they try to get that from these people but they they aren't able to all they can get from these people is some temporary fun if that's something which is making them feel good about good about themselves or about their situation for like a split second they will be there standing with them or spending time with them even if it's for a split second or for an hour or a week your person actually needs some time out from the chaos and the mess that's going on in their life if they've re recently met with an accident or some sort of loss financial emotional psychological if they recently had a breakup with someone they were associated with or got betrayed by if they lost their job or uh, they got bankrupt or their business went down something like that right now they're just needing some time out 
or they could be spending time with these people but then these people are make, creating or making even, even more trouble because they do not understand this connection they have with you if they have ever discussed that with these people but keeping all these things aside what universe is saying that it's all going to work out in your favor you do not know what's happening behind the scenes and what they are doing for you and for you how high i'm sorry and for your highest good you do not have any clue as to what they are working and what they are planning for you and for your future because what you're getting troubled by is what's happening with you right now that's what you're focusing on see nobody is judging you for how you're thinking and feeling everyone goes through these phases when they feel like they can't handle it anymore or they getting breakdowns it happens okay don't beat yourself up on that take time out from the hustle and bustle give yourself some good resting time meditate if you'd like to you know take it a day at a time i'd say i am not saying go pray have faith on god because you're already not there you've already lost all of that so just i'll i'll just say that hang in there for your own self not for anyone else just hang in there for your own self and just do whatever you can in that moment to keep yourself on the positive side of the situation because it's all working out still working out even though you cannot see it that way even though it doesn't look like that way it's working out the marriage will happen yes the reunion will happen yes it's meant to be if it's meant to be it will happen no one can stop that from happening not even you yourself or your counterpart they will come back to their senses when it's time for them to or when they'll after when they'll get hit by their karma which is happening which is happening right now with a lot of them it's because they've mistreated you and left you out in the cold and have hurt you so badly they are dealing with their karma that's why they are in the mess right now they are not interested in dealing with or uh, they are not inter- interested in anyone else romantically or sexually or emotionally like how they are into you you may be feeling like that but that's not happening right now everyone is on different timelines and everyone is operating at different energy levels what's happening with you you'll have to look into it personally so just follow the signs and synchronicities universe universe will redirect you to where you're supposed to be going or to what you're supposed to be doing so pay attention to those things and try to keep yourself calm and collected that's what i'd like to say so this was the channeling i hope you enjoyed listening to me if you did give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel other than that if you'd like to support my channel through way of donations you can simply follow the link given in the description box below that's for international listeners or if you are in or if you are a international listener you may have to write me back personally on my given email address okay so that's all for now i'll be back again very soon till that time please take care of yourself and your loved ones bye bye